what we began in February 2003 on a winter night. We began with 28 families here in Yerushalayim giving out the chickens out the back of my car. This month we've exceeded over one and a half thousand families. in Israel, we are immediately impressed by an ancient land pulsing with energy, with vitality, and most importantly, with Kedusha. A developed society renowned as a leader in global innovation. Unfortunately, the stark reality is completely different. And for many people, life has become very difficult. The poverty is striking. People who relied on government subsidies to support the families, find themselves now at the mercy of Stockholm. Families had to reduce their budgets in every aspect, and even though expenditure for Shabbos you get back, but it's been so hard. I mean, every aspect we've had to make cutbacks, and there hasn't been at the end of the week enough for the Shabbos. My ex-husband is disabled, so he's not able to send us any money. I have a son who's 13 years old, and he was he was just so desperate that he, he once went into the little grocery store and stole a package of hot dogs and he was caught but he was crying he was like mommy I just needed to eat something solid you know and after that I decided that's it no matter what the situation is I have to make something decent for him you know at least twice a week and then we started getting chickens every month I know about chicken of Shabbos personality I know how it's helped to so many people from Spas in the north to Nitivot in the south, Chickens for Shabbos has become the largest distributor of chickens to the worst poverty-stricken families. We now deliver to over 11 towns here in Atisrael. In each town, I have someone who I personally rely on. Usually, he's been a Gabbard stalker or a rov in this town for over 20 years. He knows the families. From Dreusen sehen sie euch normal wie alle. Sie hoche wie Menschen. We distribute to families every month round about Rosh Chodesh. Our basic parameter is we, we give to families who won't have if we don't give to them. I feel more relaxed when I know that I will have it in Shabbos and I don't have to worry where do I get it from. I want them to be as happy as if they would go out themselves to buy these chickens. The families that need the help may be poor, but they still have their principles. And therefore we decided from day one that we're going to give the families the best type of heksha that they would want themselves. For the Svadim, we're going to give them Rav Machput chickens, which is the best Svadi Hersha. For the Ashkenazim, we're going to give them the Eid Haritz chickens, which is their best Hersha. Making everyone happy, everyone being able to eat their chickens. In Jerusalem, a voucher system has been introduced to efficiently reach needy families dispersed throughout the city. The voucher system works so nicely because it gives each person a, a feeling of pride. They don't feel like they're getting stuck up. They can go with their voucher, they can go down to the, the, the meat store or the butcher, and they can pick up their own chickens. Every couple of months, we print these vouchers. We get a bunch of volunteers from the area, the neighbors, a couple of girls in ceremony, my wife knows. They come in with the greatest smile. Oh, it's tonight, I'm coming up, I'm gonna get a babysitter, I'm coming around. They take these vouchers, they fold them, they put them in the correct envelope. It's got the family's name, it's got the amount of chickens they get. I take those vouchers the following day and 
we give them out to the families. What I like about this organization is that it's run completely by volunteers and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Every single penny that we raise goes straight to buy a chicken for Shabbos. Distributing over 1.1 million dollars in the last year but we still haven't broken that rule. Every single dollar that's been donated for chickens for Shabbos has gone only and solely for food. Whatever expenses there are, are paid for out of the pocket of the private people. By the Zabi Newman, the and other people. That's the greatness of this. It's Kula Lishem Shemayim. A lot of Shulam Bayes problems were settled because they were zoichet to have a nice Shabbos to come here. It helps a lot. It, it bring, brings, it makes people happy. כל אחד יבוא ויאמר בשקט איזה מילה אחת של תודה, היא שמעה פה במקום הזה ממש רמקול ענק של, של תודה וברוכה, של שמחה גדולה. When you support Chickens for Shabbos, you become a partner in feeding Hashem's children. <laughs>